My ultimate goal is to figure out what is actually killing these kids with cerebral malaria and coming in with an intervention that can yank them, more of them back from the brink. Oh gosh, let's see. The first malaria season was 1986-87. So we're coming up on 25 years. I'm heart and soul in this for six months a year. And it's, I live and breathe the research ward and the patients who are here. And it's an, an intensive immersion into the clinical world. But then I leave and I go back to East Lansing and I don't take care of, I have no patient care responsibilities in the US. So that's a kind of a time to rest and recharge. She's very sick. She's a TB patient. So she'll be here for several months probably. And, and her temperature? Any change? Any improvement? No fevers. No fevers? No fevers? Yeah. Well, that's an improvement. I hope she gets better. I hope she gets better. I think if we're, if we are on the right track in terms of her treatment, she stands a good chance. Every year, there's, there are several children who are just gut wrenchers, kids that you didn't expect to die, or kids that you'd become attached to, or a parent who's obviously crushed by the loss and and some are more painful than others and it is it's hard and sometimes I just have to say we just need to take a break we're not going to admit anybody we're all just going to take the day and have a cup of tea and talk about it and and regroup and move on because you can't absorb that much loss over and over and over without resting and processing it and talking about it as painful as it is to um, suffer along with the parents, I would feel worse if I didn't feel anything. The moms stay, the moms often stay with the patient and then the next younger child um, because they can't leave that child alone at home. It's utterly astonishing to see the patience and perseverance of these mothers through thick and thin with their kids. It's really humbling. Directly by providing patient care, we're saving lives. We are saving lives. These are kids that would not survive were they not able to be looked after on a ward that is as well staffed and as well supplied as our ward. So on that direct immediate level, lives have been saved. It takes a long time though. That's the thing and that's why I'm so appreciative of the fact that Michigan State has hung in there with me for all these years because that's how long it takes. I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to be received. I'm happy that the patients laugh along with the jokes um, and I'm pleased that the work has been useful in Malawi. But I think I would never feel rooted here. So I'm glad that my roots are in Michigan. I, wouldn't, I would feel adrift if I didn't have a strong base back at home.